Hi there, guys and girls. Welcome back to Den of Tools. What if I told you that EcoFlow, the people who make portable power stations, also make a portable battery-powered AC slash heater unit? That's this thing right here. It's the EcoFlow Wave 2. It's one of the coolest units that I've seen in a long time, but it, it's not perfect. And we're going to talk about the, some of the good, the bad, and the ugly on this. But first, let me give you a walk through, walk around of the unit so you can see all the components and see what we're talking about. All right, let's do a quick walk through of the EcoFlow Wave 2. That's the air input on the front. There's your air output, whether it's heated or cooled. Here's your full controls across the top. Of course, you can use your cell phone as well. It's smart adapted. You got your power input, solar, AC, or battery down here. Here we have your heat or temperature exchange portion of it that's the air in on the back that's the air out on the top so whether you're putting hot air or cold air out it gets the waste air out of there so you get the full benefit out the front of the device all right so here's the thing that you got to understand yes it will cool yes it will heat i'm using it right now as a heater i'm in my shop up here in montana and it was 34 degrees this morning it's a bit nippy okay so this helps keep me warm at my desk as i'm doing the editing and stuff like that what it does is it works just like any of those kind of portable power, uh, portable AC units you see in your house where it's got like the accordion arm stuff. And, and this does have those. You can get those. It has these adapter plates for different part, parts of it so you can hook those up or you can use it as is. Now, what it does is it has four main components. It's got inside air intake, conditioned air output, outside air intake, and then the opposite of this comes out of here, okay? And this is because you have to take, you don't want to take the air that's in a room and try to heat it up through one of these units because basically whatever it does, it's also producing the opposite. If it's making the air hot, it's going to produce cold air. If it's making the air cold, it's going to produce hot air. That's the whole heat exchange kind of concept. And you have to then take the opposite air and you have to get rid of it. Now, if you're like, you, I see a lot of pictures of these camping and they're like, and they just have, they're just sitting in front of it, getting the cold air of the face from this. In that case, great. You're sitting outside, the rest of the air is going to blow away and the wind and whatnot, and you're getting the cold air in the face. Awesome. Or you'll see it where they'll have the adapter plate on here and they'll have this going into the tent and the rest of the unit sits outside. Again, all that waste air gets blown away and just the air you want gets blown into you. But there's also, I've seen a picture with a girl sitting in the room next to the unit. And I'm like, that's not going to work because as it pulls air in here, it pulls air in here. If it's making this hot and making this cold, uh, it, at, at best, it's not going to change anything. At worst, it's actually, and, and based on the law of third, third, <laughs> thermodynamics, I can talk, right? Thermodynamics, it's, you're actually going to end up losing in that, that battle. So you have to you have to control where the air is going to go. So if you're using it inside, this is for your inside air. This is the conditioned air, whether it's hot or cold, you want to come back. But the back, you're going to want to have a hose going out, so it takes outside air, pulls it in, and then the waste air takes this and goes back outside. You don't want that to stay in the same room, or it will nullify what it is you're trying to do. Another thing that people don't realize is that when you do stuff like this, you get this nasty thing called condensation. You make something cold, especially if it's got metal on it and it does inside this unit, you're going to get condensation and that's going to collect. And there's a little reservoir in the bottom of this thing. And every so often you have to drain it. And there's a little hose for that and all this kind of stuff. But a lot of people think there's no maintenance. You just flip a switch and it magically produces cold air or magically produces hot air. There, there's no free lunch in this, so you got to do the, you got to do the maintenance on it. You got to drain it, stuff like that. One of the other options you have with this is they have a battery pack that it sits on top of, goes down here, and it plugs in through the little ports on the side you saw through the walkthrough. Right now, I have it just plugged straight into this EcoFlow unit. This is not the unit that's designed specifically for this, but you can plug this into a wall. You can plug it into a, another battery system, or you can use their integrated battery system if you want to go with that option. Now, let me show you through on their website so you can see some of the stuff that we're talking about. Um, there, there's the picture of the girl just sitting in the room. That's not going to work. You have it outside. If you want it just to blow cold air at you, it will certainly do that. Uh, it'll Five minutes of heating from 68 to 86 and 18 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm using it here in the shop, and I'm in short sleeve and completely comfortable. And uh, not that long ago, I was shivering in here. Uh, <laughs> I kid you not, it gets cold up here. 
Uh, let's see here. There you can see that they're taking the outside air into the input and then the waste air back out. And that allows you to enjoy the, the air that you've conditioned in the room that you want, or in this case, in the vehicle that you want. Uh, there you can see the unit and how that, that basically understanding how the internals work. Uh, it is very portable. One thing I want to point out, though, if you, the way the cooling system and the, and the liquids that are used inside it, uh, liquid slash gases, uh, if you turn it on its side or if it's tilted more than 10 degrees, there is a time period that you have to wait after you get it level again, let it rest and let all those fluids collect back in the appropriate places inside. So you can't just toss it in the back of the trunk on its side, flip it up and turn it on, all right? So make sure with this unit, you definitely read all the instructions so you understand what it can do. As I said before, you can connect it via an app, you can control everything remotely, that's super awesome. Uh, it, I mean, especially if you have it in another room or something like that. Uh, a greener way to beat the heat, um, if you say so. Uh, charge fast at home or on the go. It is really cool. I really liked plugging it into this unit. I had it plugged in here and this bank, uh, let me go back over here. So on, on this, I had this turned on and you can see it there. I'm at 95% right now. Uh, it said it would run for 11 hours on a full charge on that unit. And I think that's pretty handy. Uh, it'll definitely get me through a day here in the shop. Uh, let's see, you can run it off of solar. It has solar inputs on the side. You can do car uh, charging on it. Uh, the Delta Max is what I have it plugged into, the Wave 2. You can also have the Delta 2. Uh, it says it will do up to 14 hours with the Delta Max. Wow. Um, it, it also depends on whether you're running it at full power. I, of course, had it running at full steam, so I think that's why I got the 11 hours. But again, that's going to be plenty of time for most people. Here's the, the picture I see where they use it with a tent. And this is a great way. If you're going tent camping, whether you're doing whether you're doing summer camping and you need it cold, or you could think about it, you could extend your camping season by using this as a heater. And now you don't have a dangerous heater inside your, your tent with you. You don't have to worry about a, a tent stove or uh, carbon monoxide or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, and you just have it right there. And that, that to me is a, a pretty useful function. Uh, especially, you know, for those of us who, you know, deer hunting and elk and whatnot in the later season, it gets a bit chilly around here. Uh, let's see here, design impact, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's in the box? Okay, you have the three exhaust plate covers, a window vent board. The window vent board's kind of cool. So it's part of the foam packing material. It's at the bottom of the box and it just, it's perforated and it just pops out. Now you have the thing to put in your window for the two hoses to fit into to give you a perfect, you know, seal on it so you can vent stuff in and out. Of course, you get the unit itself, you get the AC adapter, you get the two uh, accordion duct systems, the water drainage and the, uh, and the instruction booklet, which you're going to want to read. Um, you can get a carry bag for it. It's nice. You got the add-on uh, battery there. Uh, that's the one we talked about. Uh, it, honestly, I don't know. I personally did not want, was not interested in the battery because I have power stations and uh, it's not the lightest thing in the world. And then strapping a battery to it, it's just going to, as far as I'm concerned, it's just going to make it heavy, if you know what I mean. Now, let's talk about how much something like this costs. It's not going to be inexpensive. It's a pretty high tech piece of, uh, of equipment here. You're looking at $1,000 on sale right now. Uh, if we can get a coupon code or something, we'll put it down below. EcoFlow has been running some great sales. they got Black Friday sales coming up. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned. You check those out. Anyway, I'll have links to everything down below. Let me know. If, if you, are you, Is this something you'd be interested in? Do you need it for your shop? Do you need it for camping? What kind of you, Where would you use something like this? Let me know down in the comments. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.